Hello and a welcome back to Dot Hack Quarantine. I went ahead and got the virus cores we need to progress the story and uh, made it so that way you don't have to watch me for another 30 minutes go through an area in hopes that we find uh, virus cores. I have uh, also got mail. So, without further ado, let's go read the mail. Black Rose responds to, but why did you ask me to come along? Hmm, I wonder why. I think, well, I don't know. It's an amazing situation if you think about it. Yeah, really, you never know, or the incident. This is only if you feel like it. Were you watching when your brother was in a coma? Send the email. We're just gonna share scars at this point. Did you watch as the life was drained from your brother like I did with my friend? I'm just curious. You don't have to respond. She'll, I'm sure, really like that. She's definitely not gonna snap at us. Uh, to the world! I mean, her snapping at us? Come on, that's so unlike Black Rose. Uh, to the board. There's a new post on the board, and I bet you it's a tag post. Yep, it's a tag post. Nothing to say from Joni X. Don't say anything and come to detestable, elusive messenger, Gob. This is the last fight, Gob, so bring your friends, Gob. Bring your friends. Find some friends and bring them with you. This is the last fight, it's to death. That's right. I may be an NPC made for this event, but I'm done playing around, Gob. I'm gonna stab you in the face. These goblins get a little aggressive. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get back in the game. All right, so I've already decided to who I was gonna bring with me because I had them with me when I was getting virus cores. It's gonna be Natsumi. Thank you for choosing. Uh huh. And then uh, we also had Terajima. Thank you so very much for. Sure. Boom. Got her too. Black Rose responded. I am sure she's pissed. Uh, let's just ignore that and go to uh, Cruel Vindictive Scars. Whoop. Here it is. One M virus core, the two J's that we just got. H and G. Oh, oh, my wrist feels funny. Ooh, come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away. Over here. It's a, it's a lava field. The wave will be moving there soon. Be careful. Oh, we gotta do a wave. Yes, sir. Lowest okay. level of the Let's dungeon. Let's head to the lowest level of the dungeon. Where most of our events seem to take place. Not on the field. All right, let's get our fairy orb going. One right here. There's a lot of things here, so you know the deal. Let's go get that first one. Use your skills, and I'll use mine. The weakened Underwood Baby. me. I need a day to drain that wood maiden. I need those virus cores. It's burning man, it's not a virus core. <clears throat> you have made a sore mistake. 
Is it this one? It is. I'm going to absolutely annihilate Get out of here. Lovers, which we don't need. Hit me with that strength. And yeah, we're gonna hit Terajima with the strength in two. the first and then you're gonna see the last so I'll be right back and here we go after the last portal there's their skills I go in with my weekend physical down and use our fortune wire items have been just kind of crap of course I mean with level 80 and 90 gear it's gonna be a while before we get to an area that's spitting out that type of gear so essentially any gear that we get is uh, either sell fodder or trade fodder go inside have uh, Alucard which were the vampires that bring people back from the dead the wood maidens which uh, will put you to sleep or will uh, use like the the tree branch wood thing that comes up underneath you and then oh what was the other thing uh, overseer Let's see if it comes up here. those are Alucard's and with them, all we do is we go into weekend. And I hit him with the paralyze. <laughs> Gotta hit him both with paralyze. <laughs> because what'll wind up happening is when I take down one, the other's just gonna wind up bringing him back to life. <laughs> so because they're paralyzed, they can't cast that spell. <laughs> And I just go in and just annihilate him. I don't have any water spell. I don't have a water attack. And we want to make sure everyone's SP stays up. Instead of going in and... Well, I guess I already have them equipped. I was going to say, instead of doing the... Uh, lucky Boots, I can just fog wrap and go right into it. But hey, why not? Why not use it? Why not take advantage of it? I have it equipped. I'm gonna go change it right now, though. Back to the Ultra Solar Red. All right, Fortune Wire. Hot shoes. Oh, we just got. We got a hot shoe. I'm still gonna focus on doing all the portals just because uh, we're in a area that's about our level and we could use the experience. Yes. See, that's me agrees. Golden egg. Not to mention too that story areas. Like there's that room to the north of this next room that we're going in. That is essentially a break room, and break rooms will have, I'm done. um, what do you call them? Like um, little virus cord things that you can do. You can only find those in story-based areas. Remember. All right, let's go. Let's go to sleep. Good work. 
just the best support role. These two are meant to charge in and attack. Here we go, one of these virus crystals. Virus core H. That's one less virus core that I have to go to an area to hunt down. So we're gonna make sure we don't pass those up. Invisible arrows. Yes. Ooh, little buffer. Getting ourselves a nice buffer. Some physical defense. Little physical attack defense. Burning oils are nice. I don't know if I still need them or not, but they're nice to have. And I found out too that Tony Hawk is working with Activision again to come out with a something new. So now I'm curious about what that could possibly be. New Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game. Maybe a new skater game altogether. And let's paralyze the a la carte. Just want to go in and destroy. Stand a chance. Barbara. Now, I played the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games one through four and Underground one and two. And then after that, I haven't played uh, American Wasteland, I haven't played Project Date. Uh, I didn't play the one where they actually started including the board. Like little wireless skateboard that they had that would go with it for a uh, ride. I don't think Downhill Jam used the board. It was ride and there was one other one that they had. And then they did Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. And I heard that Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 wasn't that great. They tried to bring it back to what it was because the other games flopped such as American Wasteland, Project 8 Ride, I think was a big one, the ones with the uh, skateboard controller. And that's only because of a video that I saw that I say this, and the fact that I can get those real cheap online. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's the only reason I think that. But I am curious what the new thing's still gonna be. Remasters of things for like Tony Hawk. I don't know if that's, uh, oh no. Oh no, no, somebody's attacking me. I don't know if that's really gonna be, I don't know, interesting. If that's uh, something that will, this one. Like I don't, I don't know if there's just a lot of people out there who are like, man, you know what I really wish I could play? The old Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. I mean, they did a remaster already of uh, 1 and 2, which is great. I did find out, though, that they did not have the original soundtrack. That certain songs did not make it. That damn you not some quit getting charmed. That was kind of a bummer for me, because I really enjoyed the uh, soundtrack. That was one of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time. Nope, it's back. I don't need... That's me getting charmed again. She got charmed again. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, hell no. 
tuer. Stab! I never really played the skate games either. I heard they were really good. Though. I heard people really liked the skate games. It was different from like the uh, regular kind of like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater kind of set the standard for what skateboarding games were going to be. Because I didn't realize too that there was a bunch of like Tony Hawk Pro Skater clones that wound up coming out on the PlayStation after the success of the first two games. You had like a Disney skateboarding game and a Simpsons skateboarding game. And I think there was another one too that was out. I do remember playing a uh, scooter uh, game that kind of played similar to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater on top of like uh, Dave Mira's BMX, but that was made by NCSoft as well. At least I think it was because it was all like the covers seemed the same. And then they went crazy and had like uh, every single sport from snowboarding to was it surfing. Uh, I think they did a motocross one too. Which nothing against the games. They saw the, they, like a gold mine for the skate games and we were just like, yeah, let's let's get all these other active type games out there. See what sticks. And the bike and skateboarding was really the only ones that stuck. Um, motocross, I think, started becoming that. Uh, was it MXV and ATV? Or maybe it's like MCX and uh, ATV. They like had those games. And I remember playing one game for the PlayStation 2 called Downhill Jam that uh, me and Flog Dog would play all the time and it was it reminded me of road rash mixed with like cool borders where you're just like going down a big steep mountain and you just have like these ridiculously insane like you would not survive the level of uh jumps in downhill jam and then you added in uh attacks where you can like throw things at your opponent like water bottles and stuff <laughs> That was a lot of fun. I had fun playing that game. And I want to say on New Year New Game, we actually played a game that was very similar to it. Where it was like uh, trails. It wasn't so much like going down a hill as much as it was like weaving and swerving and swerving and swerving. Going through all these different types of uh, trails and going ramps and stuff like that. And then there's also a skating game that's actually just recently released called Sessions that's on Steam. I have it on my wish list. And I was watching it and looking at the reviews and stuff like that, like paying attention to it. Apparently it's not doing that great, but it was uh, early access when I saw it. Because they tend to release games now like in the alpha and then fix them as they go. Which for indie game developers, I'm okay if they do that. For AAA game, developers I'm kind of not for it I, I think they should be held to a higher standard they get more money than AAA or than indie game companies and they have a much larger team than an indie game company virus coochie just recently picked up the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting game collection that came out last night so uh, September 11th 2024 and uh, I gave that a shot I played it played the Punisher side scroll and of course I recorded myself playing this you're, you're gonna see a video of it later uh, probably Saturday, maybe. Once I get around to editing it, editing, editing it. 
Remember. I gotta get these jealous coders first because they charm. Natsumi, and she's very impressionable. Remember. So we gotta put the jealous coder. Oh no, Natsumi, why? <laughs> Let's see. Where is it? There it is. All impressionable Natsumi. I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to sleep. Just to paralyze him, not sleep in him. Oh, come on. Capcom fighting game collection. It had the old uh, Punisher game that I used to play on Sega Genesis back when I was a kid. It was just like a uh, side scrolling beat em up game similar to Streets of Rage. And you could play as Punisher or Nick Fury. And I just remember going through and playing these stages and just. Uh, how hectic and chaotic it was. And so going back and playing that again, I was like, yeah, it's, it's still as chaotic as I remember it. It was fun. I really had a good time playing it. And uh, they have like achievements and stuff for the game as well. And I almost have all of the ones for the Punisher. I beat the game too. And I think that's only because it doesn't give you a limit number of retries in it. But you have to beat the game as Punisher and as Nick Fury. So I have to go back and play it again. I gotta play it as Nick Fury to get the last achievement. But I've been on a real uh, achievement hunt as of recently. Achievement hunting a game called Luck Be a Landlord, which I showed on the channel for uh, New Year, New Game. And just absolutely enjoy the game. It's like a, a roguelike slot machine type game where you have a slot machine in your apartment building and you have to win a certain amount in order to pay rent or you get evicted. And the whole time that you're going through and you're fighting against your uh, capitalistic uh, landlord, you start getting emails from a uh, Russian communist person who wants to help you take down your capitalist uh, landlord who keeps raising the rent on you. And so uh, there's 20 levels to progress. Every time that you beat your landlord, he like runs to another level. And so once you get to the 20th level and you finally beat him, then that's it. That's the end. But it keeps getting more and more difficult, of course, as the levels progress. And uh, you have to have like all these crazy combinations to where you're making so much money. And some of the symbols that you get for the slot machine, along with items that you get, synergize really well to where you're making like hundreds and thousands and hundred thousands and stuff like that. But it, the achievements, they want you to do certain things. And so I'm currently going through and just did a run, completed the run. And I'm in endless mode. And endless mode just lets you go and go and go until you decide to stop. Or if you have one item that will end the game if you make it to a billion dollars. So, uh... That's another achievement too, is to get killed by that item a certain amount of times. And even like with winning the game, they want you to win the game 777 times, like the max total. So it's going to be uh, a lot of just casually playing the game, getting this achievement until we get to the end. 
Which I'm okay with because I have a lot of fun playing the game. I like the new runs. I like that it's different most of the times. Uh, learning the different unique strategies to earning money quickly. And sometimes you don't get the items that you want, but you take the risk of picking up certain items. Realize that you don't have uh, what you're looking for. And can wind up busting before the level's over and have to start all over again. That's, that's just roguelikes, man. But that's what makes it fun. That old risk and reward type thing. I'm also playing Bellatro, trying to beat that. And, um, oh, it's the other one. Slay the Spire. I don't know what it is, we've just been in a, a roguelike mood. So in the back and started playing those. Not recording them either. Just kind of playing them uh, to myself pass passively, kind of like near the end of the day. Or when I get uh, 30 minutes for a lunch break when I'm working. I'll hop on and I'll play that. And I enjoy Luck Be a Landlord so much. When I was playing it the first time around, I found out that it was available through a uh, mobile app. And I bought it on there. I, I usually don't buy mobile app games because there's a ton of free games to play. And free, I mean, I'd use loosely when it comes to mobile games because a lot of it, they really want you to purchase things. Like Marvel Snap, free game. They want you to purchase the skins and everything else that they have. Which, honestly, kind of, I enjoyed it. I liked it. I put money into it. Uh, Simpsons Tapped Out, same thing. I put money into that too. I had a good time. The stories made me giggle. I like the fact that I could edit my own Springfield. And then I have essentially like a little ant farm of uh, the, the Springfield citizens. It's great. Let's see, you do this. Mary Sword. Alright, this is the last floor, and it looks like the boss that we're going to be waiting for is going to be in the far north right through there but it's gonna give me the opportunity to go through and open the statue let's go open the statue we hardly ever get to do that it looks like we'll even be able to clear the dungeon too which we hardly ever get to do i still have the ryu books that i have to complete too i don't think with this game i'm going to be 100 percenting it I think once it's over, it's over. I'm gonna move on to another game. Like they have that um, item collection list. It doesn't look like that item collection event that they mentioned in the beginning of the game starts until after you beat the game. So after you beat the game, then you have to go through and like find every single item that was ever in Dot Hack. This thing has like a high evasion for physical attacks and go and collect every single item, and I'm like, I really don't want to do that. I didn't hold on to a lot of these items. It's gonna want me to go back to, like, the very first server and start going through those areas, and open up chest and things like that, and I'm just like, uh, I'm not that crazy about being a completionist, but I do like when my games have achievements. It just gives you, like, something to aim for while you're playing the game. That's uh, sometimes outside of, like, just complete the game. Ricky. I remember having an Xbox 360 when they had that achievement system on there, and I was like, oh, that's great. I like that. This is a thing. And then even when they had, like, certain games where if you completed achievements, they gave you items for your Xbox avatar. I remember playing Fable 3 getting all the items for that, uh, playing, uh, what was another one, Crackdown, I think it's two that gave the items, I'm not sure if one did, and then Red Dead Redemption too. Dark Dragon, Ivory Beret, Ruby Brooch, Ruby Brooch, pretty sure Dark Dragon, isn't that great, oh, actually it's level 84, no that's great. Alright, cool. Hold on to that, give that to a heavy person. There we go, 
got for me? Oh, it's the little wizard dudes. you beat part three and got to the end they gave you a thing called the endless dungeon and it was actually a dungeon with 99 floors that you would go through and that was crazy big old mega dungeons all the cards and nice. let's get the nice before we get the other card this little dice was annoying Boom, all portals open. They're both uh, dead. Hey, buddy. Hey, what you doing? Take them down. Get that golden egg. That's me. He's over here going crazy. Yeah. She's the one who's been getting like really beat up this entire run through. Twin blades have quite a lot of SP attacks and different things that they can do, but they're pretty squishy. All right, folks, here we go. Moment of truth. We're in position. There's nothing here. Something strange is going on. The movement of the wave that we were hurting is strange. Hmm. Leos, what do you mean? The data volume is diminishing. Vanished. Target lost. I don't understand. Confirmed abnormal data volume increase in Sigma, Graceful Tempting Fallen Angel. We can still make it. Head over there. It's Sigma, graceful, tempting, fallen angel. Hurry! And then it's gonna be gate protected, and I'll need a virus core in order to get there. <laughs> Hurry! Sure, let me just go to this one area, because I need to get more virus cores. Let's see if it is. Oh no, it's in a different other server. I mean, either way, it's been over 30 minutes, so I'm not going to go to this area. It's going to have to be another video. But I am curious to see if it's something that I'm going to have to... Graceful, tempting, fallen angel. Well, what happens? I hit warp, though. It takes me there. And then things are just awkward. Alright, let's go make it awkward. Oh, it actually does take us there. Okay, we don't need uh, any type of uh, gate hacking in order to go through here. Graceful, tempting, falling angel will just take us right to the area. Nice. Let's leave. Because I don't want to do this right now. It's been 30 minutes. And uh, we're, we're, we've got our video. Which means next week, we'll be going back to that area. We won't need a virus core, so we can just get right into it and continue it from there. We're just gonna leave it on a cliffhanger. I have mail, too, so like, that's a thing. 
But, uh, yeah. There you have it, folks. Leaving it on a cliffhanger. What happens? Where's the wave? We should hurry. Why don't we get over there? I'll do it another time. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Dot Hack Quarantine. Goodbye.